Good day, everyone, and welcome to your Monday footy feed. Well, Essendon's new chairman, Paul Little, has thrown his support behind James Hurd just two days after David Evans' shock resignation. After officially taking over this morning, Little expects the findings from ASADA to be released within a fortnight. Jackie Reid is at Windy Hill for us, and Jackie, it has been a hectic few days for the club. It sure has, Matt. The club must be getting used to having the media waiting outside its headquarters here at Windy Hill. New chairman Paul Little emerged to face it for the first time today. He used the opportunity to back in James Hurd, and despite the pending ASADA findings, he was confident the Bombers will still play a role in September. James Hurd um, has also got uh, not only my full and complete support, but the board's full support and uh, we look forward to James taking us into a uh, successful finals campaign. Heard was stopped outside of his home this morning and he paid tribute to former chairman David Evans. We think he's going to take a short break, but uh, look, it's, it's a, uh, a travesty, or it is a big travesty what's happened to David. And, um, we all wish him well, he's a terrific person. The footy world is on the brink of answers with that rough deadline of August fast approaching. Club legend Tim Watson was this morning steadfast in his belief that the drug AOD 9604 was a legal substance. I am satisfied now that those things that were administered weren't banned, they weren't illegal in any way and they weren't dangerous and dangerous, and dangerous to Job's health. Nevertheless, the speculation is bound to continue, but thankfully, Matt, the end is in sight. It is getting closer, Jackie. Thank you for that, Jackie Reid, reporting. Now, while all of this is happening, AFL Chief Executive Andrew Dimitriou and his deputy, Gillian McLaughlin, are in America on a fact-finding mission. The journey to New York is about finding a solution to the league's equalisation debate. Dimitriou has defended making the week-long trip, while the supplement scandal continues to unfold back home. Oh, I'm sure there'll be headlines that we're out of the country and some disasters happen, but look, we've got capable people here and the world of telecommunications, of which you specialise in, 24-7 uh, instantaneous news. I'm sure if anything does happen, that we'll be across it. Also on the trip, key club presidents and chief executives, Eddie Maguire, outright rejecting any suggestion it's a junket. I'll tell you what, I'll pay for it myself, OK? I'm happy to pay myself. The the touring party is meeting with key people in the NFL, NBA and Major League Baseball. An ominous warning from the Hawks today. For the rest of the competition, they can get better. It was back to school for Brian Lake this morning after helping teach the Bombers a lesson on Friday night. The defender rates the victory as one of the Hawks' best this season, but they're still not still satisfied. Areas we've got to improve on. Um, even having, having two losses, there's, there's some games that we've played... Uh, pretty average. It's definitely our, our best game that we've probably played for six weeks. We've been a little bit flat. We've still been getting out, being able to get the wins, which is a, the most important thing. The top of the table Hawks face Richmond on Saturday. And making a splash today, the Lions are talking about diving for free kicks after losing the free kick count 22-11 against Port Adelaide on Sunday. It's the seventh straight match where that's happened. You, you flick your head back or you, you lunge forward. You, you going to draw the attention of the umpire so you've just got to be really careful and maybe we can get better at doing that ourselves and uh, learn a few tricks how to how to dive and throw the head back at times. Michael Voss put the issue on the agenda a few weeks ago when he spoke to umpire's boss Jeff Geeshan. The club clearly concerned at the trend. And that is your footy feed for this Monday. There is lots going on right now. New developments online as they happen here at afl.com.au. Keep in touch as well on Twitter and on Facebook. For now I'm Matt Thompson. Thanks for watching.